Well, this is perhaps one of the most recognizable images from the Vietnam War and one that turned public sentiment against America's involvement. And that unforgettable image here shows a frightened, naked young girl running in fear after a napalm attack. And now she is getting treatment for the burn scars she has dealt with her entire life right here in South Florida, as Local 10 Sarah Unwar shows us. That little girl, now a woman, featured in that iconic, world-famous Pulitzer Prize winning photo in South Florida today to receive laser treatments on her now 50-year-old napalm burns. The 1972 photo that captivated the country, a nine-year-old girl running naked after a napalm attack, showing the world the ugly reality of the conflict in Vietnam. 50 years later. The girl in the photo, now a grown woman, Kim Phuc Phan Thi, is in South Florida today for a special doctor's appointment. This is a miracle for me because uh, yes, after I got burned, I still um, endure a lot of pain. Photographer Nick Oot took the Pulitzer Prize winning photo. He's also in Miami marking the 50th anniversary of the photo he took that changed American society's perception of war and its true cost. You took this photo 50 years ago. Do you still remember that day vividly? Oh, oh I remember that picture. I uh, remember my camera. There she came running. I followed her running right away, took a picture of her, and her body still burning. Kim Fook is receiving her final reconstructive laser treatment pro bono from world renowned dermatologist Dr. Jill Weibel. I couldn't believe it. After 50 years later, I still need help. Half a century later, you can see where the napalm hit Kim Fook's skin on her back when she was just a little girl. The main reason she sought treatment was the pain. You, you know, she was a nine out of Ten. Dr. Jill Weibel pioneered laser treatments used to help wounded veterans and burn victims like Kim Fook. Grow that skin back to be a little more normal um, to help ease all of her suffering. Wow, it's super happy. <laughs> I am so excited. Dr. Weibel says she was inspired by Kim Fook and it's been an honor to bring her to South Florida for treatment. One of the first things I've learned and from patients like Kim is they're survivors, they're not victims. And, and Kim's even more special. She, her picture that Nick took changed the world. Again, this month marks 50 years since that iconic photo was taken. Reporting from Southwest Miami-Dade, Syrah Onwar, Local 10 News. So